In this video, we're going to take a look at a new and exciting series of programs available for download via chessbase.com. Now, this series is called 60 Minutes, and what you get when you download one of these programs is a small version of a Fritz trainer, which is usually around 60 minutes long and presented in the very well known chess media system format. Uh, which explains how to play certain lines of an opening. So here I'm going to show you just how simple it is to install one of these programs. Now if you've already uh, downloaded your program from Chessbase, what you'll get is a file that looks something like this. Uh, it's actually quite a large file. It's much larger than the files you download, for instance, on the Nidorf Powerbook or, or one of the uh, opening books that Chessbase provide. Um, so you need, need to make sure you have a pretty fast internet connection before you decide to buy one of these. Um, but once you've got it, you'll have it uh, saved at the location you specified on your computer. So here it is on my desktop. So it may look uh, a little bit different depending on where you've saved it to. Um, and now to install this, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is double left click with the mouse on the file itself. There's a little trick I often do, I often say to people who use Windows Vista or Windows 7, um, which is to right click and then choose Run as Administrator. Sometimes that really does help, but all you need to do literally is just double left click as I've just done here, and that will start the uh, setup process. So you can see the first window you get is to install it in which is which language you want you want to install it in. Um, here you have a variety of different languages. For now, we're just going to stick with English. Click OK. And here you have a welcome screen uh, telling you exactly what you've bought. And um, you actually have the instructions here. You can follow the prompts. We're just going to work through them all. It does say it's recommended that you close all other applications before starting. You don't have to do this, but um, you may well have to reboot your computer if you, if you don't. Um, so when you're ready to go, Simply click, as it says here, click Next to continue. Uh, here it's asking you to specify the install location for the files uh, of the um, program. Um, it gives you a default destination here, your Documents folder, then your Chessbase folder, which is just about everything uh, from Chessbase installs into. Then you'll see it's gone into Shop and to Kazibzanov 60 min Slav main line. You can change this by clicking here on the Browse button. Um, but usually, and with most Chessbase products, I suggest that it's, it's safer just to stick with the default uh, destination, the default settings given in the installation program. However, if you do want to uh, change it, just click Browse. This opens up um, a Windows Browse menu, and you can go through any of the folders on your computer and install it wherever you like. But we want to cancel that, and we're just happy to install in the default location it's suggested. And so, if you, uh, you'll also see here, this will tell you how much space is required. So you'll need 317.3 uh, megabytes. Um, most modern computers nowadays will have much more storage space than that. You can see here, it looks, on first glance, as though I've got less, 136.5. But you'll see here, that means gigabytes. So in actual fact, um, there's, a thousand, there's a factor of a thousand difference between that number and that number. And uh, we're ready to go. So just click Install. The speed that this happens will obviously depend um, on the speed of your computer. So um, be prepared for, say, up to two to three minutes for this installation to process to be completed. But you can see what it's doing is it's, um, it's extracting or unpacking the files from that one big installation file. You'll get all the different files, which of course includes all the different videos of the uh, Grandmaster Rustam Kazabzanov explaining how to play the Slav main line. You can see as we go along, as the process is carrying on, this bar is filling up with the green. When it gets to the to the end, we'll know that it's absolutely completed. So as I say, it does take a few minutes. Um, if you've got um, you know the fastest computer in the world, then uh, it'll be much quicker than this, or a more recent computer. However, if your computer is a few years old, it may take a little bit longer, but just uh, be patient. This process doesn't take too long. As you can see here, I mean, we're well on the way. We're nearly completed. You don't need to see any of the details. Just let the program carry on 
and there we go. So now you've got this window, it's now saying it's completing the setup wizard um, and you just have to finish to close the wizard. Click finish and there you go. It looks as though nothing's happened but you'll actually see that the files are installed um, into the folder that we specified on your hard drive and we'll look at how to open and access those videos in the next video.